Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to model uh, this part. This part is known as, in our uh, device, is known as the cylinder. First, I'm going to draw the cross section of this cylinder, and then extrude it for the length of three inches. And after that, I'm going to place the four holes at the bottom. Okay. Um, I'm going to be drawing this cross section at the right um, plane. So we go to Pro Engineer and we go start a new file part solid. Uh, we will call it the cylinder and then okay. So, uh, we will start, as I said, I'm going to draw on the right plane, we we'll make the sketch. Mm -hmm. So, this is the top, this is the front, yes, this is the top, this is the front. So, if I go and recheck this one, the right, this is the front, this is the top. Now it is similar. This is the top and this is the front. Okay, now they are similar. Uh, actually, I'm doing this stuff because I'm going to assemble all of these parts into one assembly, and I don't want the data, the data planes to be different. So, starting with the circle, the inner circle. It's about one inch in diameter and the outer the, the outer one is about 1.5 as we saw in the drawing and these two lines here one is over here and the other is tangent to this circle and of the same length of the other line so now we go trimming, we trim these parts and then we go like this. Okay. Uh, we will extrude this surface. Uh, actually, uh, as you see here, the, the right plane is at the mid point of uh, the cylinder. So I'm going actually to be extruding this here in half as you can see half at the right uh, side of the plane and half at the, at the left side of the plane and its total length is about 3 inches so that's it I go ok now I'm done so now we want to place these 4 holes actually I'm going to model or to do the first hole and then I will mirror it about this datum plane to get this one and then I'm going to mirror those two about this datum plane and I'll get them here okay so the first hole is about let's say the center of the first is about 0.25 inches away from this side and 0.25 inches from this side and this diameter is 0.13 and its depth is 0.5 okay so we go here we check this one which is place a hole we select the plane which we are going to place our hole so we stick this point here and we stick this point here and this is as we saw in the drawings 0.25 inches and this one here is 0.25 inches and the diameter is 0.13 inches and its length or its depth is 0.5 so this one here is 0 
and we are done with the first hole so here is our first hole I just want to remove these so that we have a better vision or visibility ok uh, now I'm going to mirror this one around about this datum plane and this will result in the first hole so we choose our hole we go to the mirror and we choose the plane which is the front one and we click ok now we've got this this new hole now I'm going, go, I'm going to mirror both of these holes about the right plane so first I'm going to choose them actually to choose them both you need to press control while clicking on both of the holes then you go to the mirror and you go to the right and here we go now I've got the four holes as just specifying the drawing four holes 0.13 in diameter and 0.5 in depth so now I that I'm done I'll go to the color and appearance in the view menu and I will let's choose nice color let's make it dim or bright mm. go like this and that's and that's it that's all that's it for today I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial and then with our next part so that we get them all done to make them all into my into our main assembly thank you